Tesla has fallen below the $210 level pre-market at the time of making this video due to a 0.4% increase in inflation last month. So should you buy or not? Keep watching as we answer that by going through recent news as well as my chart analysis and price prediction. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel Stocks 101 for regular stock market updates. First up, Tesla has entered the oversold category indicating a relief rally that has been long awaited. An analyst has suggested that Tesla has had 23 major falls since 2010 where it fell by more than 20% in just a week and every time it fell it got an even stronger recovery thanks to a slingshot pattern going up to 200% in a single year. An increase of 200% however seems difficult as it would put the company right next to Apple with a valuation of $2.3 trillion. We can only look forward to the 19th October earnings report now as it would be a make or break day for the stock's price. Apart from this, Bank of America researchers have said that if the stock breaks below the $206 zone again, it can go down all the way to $180. In our opinion, this is a clear indication that Tesla has hit its actual bottom and it should go up from here unless bad market circumstances come up. With all that in mind, let's analyze the charts. So as you guys can see right here we are now in the 1 day chart for Tesla and of course we will first analyze the 1 day chart then the 1 hour chart and to end it off we will get into the 5 minute chart but right off the bat we can clearly see that we got rebounded from the exact level that I gave you or rather the level that Bank of America gave us at $206 over here we can clearly see that it has worked over here as well so it has been a proven support now in my opinion what's going to happen is that we will rebound from over here Right, so we might make a small shoulder somewhat, right? So we'll get somewhat of a this type of curve, right? So we might get to the $220 range, test those resistance levels again. And once the earnings report comes out, if the earnings report is positive, right, of course, we will start a new bull run and we might go all the way to the $270 range. So let me mark that for you, $270. But on the other hand, if we do not get a positive earnings report, we probably will come down and break the $206 support. After this, the next major support, let me show you where it lies. Let me zoom out real quick for that. Over here, we can see that the next major support lies around $180 over here because we already tested it two times over here as well. And well, pretty much three times over here. Right, and that's pretty much the same scenario for this support at $206 because we've tested it over here and over here and over here at the current price action as well. If we talk about resistance levels, we can clearly see that we have a top over here at $315 pretty much, right? We've tested it many times, like easily, I guess six times, right? We've made three pairs of double tops over there. So now if we look closely over here, of course, as I already told you, we can initiate a bull run from over here. But this fall, this gap down pretty much was just because of the inflation report that we got that, you know, in September inflation rose by 0.4%, whereas analysts have predicted that inflation will not rise anytime soon, right? So we, you know, pretty much estimated that inflation is going to fall down, but instead the stocks are falling down. Well, that's a sad reality. But we can see that we're getting some indecision over here as the market squeezes into the $208 range. So the top we made today was of course near the $210 range which is of course a psychological resistance. And as you guys can see we're now falling down again. So let's analyze this in the 1 hour chart. Over here in the 1 hour chart we can clearly see that we did not get any past indication on the charts that the stock is going to fall. Of course, this is thanks to inflation as we already discussed, right? Inflation rose by 0.4% in September, whereas people thought that, you know, it will just fall down. But as you guys can see, the stock fell down instead. And now we are squeezed into this range. We've already made some big wicks. So this pretty much is an indecision candle. And now I believe the next candle would probably be below this between this range. Right, so we'll probably touch the $206 level again before going up and that pretty much is my opinion. Let me erase the levels real quick. We will keep the $206 level at the chart at all times, right, because that is pretty much the main level of this analysis. We made a bottom over here at 211.5, so this would serve as a resistance as well. But if we look at the past days, you know, closing candle, we can see that it was pretty much a pin bar candle on the lower side. So this indicated a gap down on the next day as well. 
and the top we made in the previous day was of course over here at 219.25 dollars so these are important levels to watch but of course they won't come handy for you know intraday traders they're just for swing traders and positional traders but as you guys can see the stock continues to go into the 207 dollar range breaking below the 208 dollar range so let's exactly see what's going on in the five minute chart so as you guys can see right here in the five minute chart we're making a low at this level continuously so this seems to be a support at 207.5 but we've just broken that so my analysis is coming true that we'll probably hit this 206 dollar level before rebounding right we've made a triple top at the level of 210.2 dollars and a double top at the level of 209.4 dollars Again, support level acting up, we've already gotten back into the $208 range, right? But this does not seem good again, as I already told you, because we're getting another negative candle. This probably will continue because we're having a hard time breaking the $210 range. And I honestly don't believe that we'll end with a positive day, right? I don't believe that we'll break the $210 resistance. Wait, why am I dragging this? I'm sorry for that. I don't believe that we'll be able to break the $210 resistance today. Again, we've approached the $207.5 range in the next candle. So this is 10 p.m. candle. And before 10.30, I believe that we will break this range once again, right? Because that is, of course, that, you know, the first hours of the market are the most volatile ones. And then the market just gets, you know, drier volume. So in my opinion, we should continue this journey from over here. Wait. Let me get the marker again. We should go down and come back up by 11.30 in my opinion. And after that, the market will just glide in this pattern. And after that, in the aftermarket, we might see some negative action. Closing the day somewhere around the $206, $207 you know, range. But again, as I already told you in the previous part of this video, Tesla itself has bottomed. But if the market keeps going down, it will have to you know, go down with the market. But of course, the Tesla stock in itself, in my opinion, it is definitely a buy at the moment, right? Even if it goes down all the way to the $180 level, even if it goes down to $100, I believe that the stock has the potential to go back all the way up to the $270, as I already told you in my one-day analysis. But then again, remember that this definitely is not financial advice. It's just my own opinion. So I could be wrong. You should always do your own research before you trade. If, however, you enjoyed my analysis, be sure to hit the like button. If you did not enjoy it, be sure to hit the dislike button. You can subscribe to our channel, Stocks 101, for more such videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.